Oh, hey, buddy, you're that uh, Shazam guy, right? Why, uh, yes. Yes, I am. All right, so you're that guy who's actually a kid in a grown-up's body, and you just say Shazam, you either turn back to a kid or you turn into a super-powered superhero. Is, is that correct? Well, yes, that is correct. All right, so let me give this a try myself. You, you think it'll work with me? Well, actually, all right, let me try it. All right, hold on. So uh, all you say is Shazam! Hey, buddy, what the hell just happened to me? I was trying to explain that only he who is chosen can become Shazam. God damn it. Be sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Dare to 18 air, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mafex Medicom Toy Shazam movie. Shazam! So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So as you can see here, we do get a very basic looking style box when it comes to a Mafex figure. So we do get the window right there on the front of the box. On the bottom, we do get an image of the Shazam figure. So the Shazam action figure, DC, Mafex number 101, and Medicom Toy. And then here's the bottom of the box with the barcode blah blah blah. So what it cares about, then here's the top of the box. And then the one side with an image of the figure there. The other side has another image of the figure. Then the back does show some pretty cool poses. You can get the figure into along with most of his accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure but to take a closer look at this character who is pretty much Tom Hanks in big but with superhero powers. Alrighty, take a closer detailed look. And detail-wise on this figure, Mafex really did kill it with the Shazam man they did an awesome job uh, with the figure when it comes to the paint and the sculpt here the face sculpts definitely on point that does resemble the actor who played Shazam can uh, think of his name off the top of my head right now they're getting much better with their uh, their their 3d uh, printing do like how you can see a little bit of a five o'clock shadow on their eyes both painted looking in the same direction the paint is clean where the hair color meets the skin tone there so nice job on that the hair looks pretty good too just uh just one shade of paint in it and it looks like they added i don't know kind of like by the sideburns looks a little lighter compared to the rest of the hair but the sculpt of it i think turned out fine and then the cape looks pretty cool too they they Definitely did capture the Shazam cape here. I do like how, how we get that designer pattern on uh, the ends or edges of the cape. All throughout it, it is two layers, and then we have the hood as well. All right, so yes, I am editing real quick because before I didn't notice there was more bendy wire in this cape. I thought it was just in the hood, and as you can see, it looks really good once you have the hood up and you pose the hood properly, but I did not notice that there is a very thin piece of bendy wire running all along the bottom of the cape there. I did not even notice that. There's none on the sides. There's also bendy wire in this one as well running all along down the bottom. So I didn't pick up on that and that before. So uh, I'm glad that they did add, add the bendy wire. Wish they would have added it on the side, at least this one, to help with the posability. But definitely dope that they put it on the bottom. On the bottom of the second layer and then we do have it on the hood as well now for the torso here the the shazam lightning bolt symbol or logo looks great man beautiful sculpt and paint on that and, and just very clean paintwork as well and then we do get some shading all throughout the the red suit and i do like the sculpted texture to the suit as well that looks really dope and i do like the the sculpted lines on there also the back even has shading and that sculpted texture as well Arms look pretty good, get some of those sculpted lines, sculpted texture. It's even on the uh, elbow joint as well. The gauntlets look dope, really dig the way the gauntlets look. We get a little bit of yellow in there mixed with the gold. And there's the uh, the red, of course, clean paintwork once again. And then on uh, the, the belt here, they did a nice job with it. It's just, it looks like they added red paint in there. And over here, they did a horrible job with it. As you can see there, they definitely needed to make it look more like this side. Unlike how it looks on that side. We do have a little lightning bolt for like uh, the, the buckle on the belt there. And then the legs here, we do get that sculpted texture and some sculpted lines. Once again, the knee joints have that sculpted texture. The lower legs look pretty cool too with the sculpted lines. And then the boots, the boots look pretty dope. We get the lightning bolts on the side of the, uh, the legs there and the inside as well. And I do like the way the boots look. They look pretty cool though. 
and the feet look fine and the bottom of them we do get some very nice sculpted type treads on the bottom which turned out really nice man but uh, like I said overall the the detail on this figure I think is definitely the strongest aspect to this Mafex Shazam Mafex just did a, a great job with the paint and sculpt besides the red pieces on the belt there but anyway let's continue on moving on to the accessories Shazam is included with a really good amount of awesome stuff so what we do get first and foremost we of course get the Mafex stand here so we do have the base the arm and the clamp and it does have the basic Mafex stand articulation and then we do also get three interchangeable head sculpts and starting on the left there, we do get the basic stern face, which is the one that does come on the figure out of the packaging. And it does look like the actor who did play Shazam, so they definitely did get the likeness down on these head sculpts here. And then the basic stern face also does remind me of Scott Atkins. Then in the middle, we do get my favorite out of all of them. That is the smiling face sculpt, and that one does look exactly like the actor who did play Shazam. So Mafex is really getting much better at the, the 3D image printing for actors' faces with their figures there. But that one does have some great sculpt and paint work. My only issue with that one and the duck face head sculpt is if you look at the top of the hair on the front where the skin tone meets the hair color, you can see the skin tone bleeding all over the front of the hair right there. It's like, what the hell is that, man? So definitely not happy about that at all. And then finally on the right, we do get the smiling duck lips face sculpt and I don't know why the hell they included that one I guess it's better than just having two but it's just such an odd face I'm guessing maybe that's the drinking soda or beer face I I have no idea I don't even remember him doing that facial expression in the movie but they did do a very nice job with the paint and sculpt detail on all three faces besides the skin tone paint bleeding on the hair on the two faces on the right and the head sculpts are very simple to swap out I'll show you how to do that right now and swapping the heads on shazam is very basic when it comes to mafex so all you do is just pull up pops off the ball peg take whichever head you want push down on the ball peg here the snap and then there you go as simple as that so we do get the three interchangeable head sculpts and then we also get a cell phone then we do get a can and a case either of soda or beer i forgot which it was then we do get a bunch of cool lightning effects so we do get two pairs of hands with lightning effects and then we do get an interchangeable chest piece with the lightning effect as well so we do get the cell phone here which is just an all black plastic wish they would have added something on the screen because it is a little plain jane there so we do get that and then we do get the the case and the can of beer or soda whichever one it was the case looks pretty good you can't open it or anything like that it is painted really well though as you can see and then the uh, can of beer or soda looks pretty good too there's the tab at the top and everything so we do get that stuff and then we do get the interchangeable chest piece with the lightning effect here and they did it they did a pretty good job with the lightning effect you can see it is a blue translucent plastic they added a little bit of white paint on there as well and it is pretty simple to swap out i'll show you how to do that shortly then we do get a pair of pointing finger hands where the lightning is shooting out the pointer finger there these are probably my favorite uh lightning effect hands with shazam here i just really dig the way the lightning effect looks it is a very nice blue translucent plastic they had a little bit of white paint around where the uh, finger is there and the sculpt of the hand looks good and everything so we do get a pair of those, and we do get a pair of lightning effects shooting out the palm of Shazam's hand here. And you can unpeg them. You can see the peg on the palm there. Sometimes they tend to unpeg while you're posing around the figure, but you can just peg them right back in. Not that big of a deal. Hand looks great, and then the lightning effect looks great also. So we do get all that stuff, and I'll show you how to swap the chess piece right now quickly. All right, so the way you swap the chess piece, and I just wanted to show you what these lightning hands look like on the figure so there you go now the way you swap the chest piece here what I do is I dig my fingernail under the top of it and just push and it unpegs and you take this one here and then just peg that in and then there you go as simple as that so we do get all that stuff and then we finally get not counting the lightning effects hands we do get a total of 12 
alternate hands. Then starting on the top right here, we do get a pair of fists, of course, and then we do get a pair of resting open type hands, and we do get a pair of open hands with the fingers molded together, and this is meant for him to grip onto the case of soda or beer, then we do get a pair of gripping hands, and that of course is meant for him to grip onto the soda or the beer can. And then we do get a pair of gripping hands, which is meant for him to grip onto the phone that he holds, on, holds onto perfectly. And then finally, we do get a pair of open palm type hands. And we do get some very nice sculpt detail throughout all 12 hands. It looks like there's very subtle shading on them as well, and they are fairly simple to swap out. Also, and like Daredevil 19 always says, that is a good thing because you don't want to risk breaking a wrist joint on your figurine. But anyway, that is all the accessories included with Shazam. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now, for the height of Shazam to the very top of his head, it looks like he's a little bit over six inches and a quarter of an inch tall. And then here he is compared to the Mafex Justice League Flash, the Solo Movie Aquaman, the Justice League Superman, and the SH Figuarts Justice League Wonder Woman. And I know this is the high comparison most of you have probably wanted to see between the Mafex Superman and Shazam. And as you can see, they both are the same exact height from the looks of it. But I think Shazam scales pretty well with these other DCEU Justice League figures. And then here he is compared to the Mezco 112 Justice League Tactical Suit Batman with the Silver Knight Batman head sculpt, the Mezco 112 Hal Jordan Green Lantern, the Mafex comic version Deadpool, and the Mafex Black Panther. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectible Sector, the Marvel Legends Retro Series Deadpool, the Mafex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation and at the shoulders, this is where I have the biggest issue with the figure, which is a minor QC issue, which I will go over shortly. So we do have two joints at the neck here. The upper neck joint, you can get Shazam to look up that much, which is pretty good. Doesn't look down too much with the upper neck there. To get a little bit of pivot at the upper neck, and then it does swivel. The lower neck here goes forward pretty good. So with both joints, looks down decently, and then both joints, whoops, ripped the head entirely off looks up really well also then you do get much better pivot at the lower neck and then it also does swivel so pretty good articulation combining both the joints there then we do get a torso joint and a waist joint here so with both joints going forward Sam crunches forward that much which really isn't the best goes back really good though and then you do get very nice pivot at the torso Pretty good pivot at the waist as well actually really good pivot at the waist then you do get swivel at the torso and then swivel at the waist so very nice movement at the torso and the waist now at the shoulders here we do have a butterfly type joint which is all right it's not the best but it's okay but this is the annoying thing about the figure the more you you try to force the joint it constantly unpegs man and it's irritating so when you try to use the butterfly joint or say you want to move the arms out to the sides they only go out to the sides that much but they, they when you force it to go out any further than that they're gonna pop the whole shoulder or arm off the joint there and that is an irritating issue you just don't get much movement moving the shoulders out to the side which is a damn it which is a bit odd so it doesn't even hit up to 90 degrees which which is definitely disappointing but the arms do go up and down we do have true bicep swivel double jointed elbows that bend in pretty much all the way so that's definitely good you don't get swivel where it connects into the bicep but you get a little bit where it connects into the forearm then we have a ball hinge on the wrist so that does swivel and then it does hinge back and forth now the legs here they do drop down a tiny bit oh man and these can pop off the joints as well. But Shazam, oh geez, again. So Shazam kicks forward just shy of 90 degrees. And if you force it too much, as you saw, it will pop off the joint. Goes to the back just a tiny bit. Let's see if he can. Jean-Claude Van Damme, and I doubt he can. Yeah, he... Damn you, Shazam, stop falling apart! He definitely can... <laughs> he... he definitely cannot... Jean-Claude Van Damme, so that is a bit disappointing, but you do get a very nice hip swivel 
double jointed knees that do bend back pretty much all the way and then the ankles do swivel hinge up a tiny bit hinge down really well and then you get an excellent ankle pivot there as you can see and then of course we do have a nice toe hinge there so overall his articulation is is pretty good definitely not the best articulation we've seen from Mafex and then you have the issue with the arms or the shoulders popping off when you try to force too much articulation out of it same with the legs as well and this joint is kind of getting loose on me the the shoulder one that that ball peg that's inside the torso so you might want to be careful with that joint there but you'll still be able to get them in some pretty good shazam like poses and i'm about to show you some of those poses right about now but anyway, that is my review of the Mafex Shazam movie, Shazam. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure with detail, would definitely give it an even 9. Articulation, I'd give it a 7.5. Accessories, I'd give it an even 9 as well. And then the overall quality, I would give an even 7. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, I did have mine imported from Japan from Ami Ami. But my buddy from Ageless Geeks said he'll have this in stock in a couple weeks. So you can check out their website, agelessgeeks.com. If you can't find something on their website, I do highly recommend going through their Instagram and Facebook page. And don't forget when you check out on their website, use code name Daredevil and you'll work it yourself. A bit of a discount. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. So as you can see here, we do get the basic style box when it comes to Mafex's action figures. Shazam action figure, DC, Marvel, blah, blah, blah. it's not Marvel, that's Mafex. <laughs> Damn. Let's get this figure, blah, blah. let's get this figure, blah, blah, blah. let's get this figure, but it take it close, blah, blah. let's get this figure, but it take it close, <laughs> Let's get this figure over to take a closer look. We have a little lightning bolt for like the beckle. Uh, do have a little. Damn it! There he is. <laughs> the Mafex Justice League Flash. The Mafex Justice League Aquafina Man. The Mafex Justice League Flash. The Justice League. Oh wait, that's not the. Damn it! That's the solo movie Aquaman. Alright, so I'm going to get some of my other Mafex or DCEU figures, and I haven't touched this Aquaman since my top 10 or whatever favorite figures of 2019 list. And look what happened to his damn waist. He's just been in that one pose. What the hell, Mafex? Oh no, what the hell, man. That's bad. Wah, wah, wah.